I got to believe you growing up in Dallas, mm -hmm. your family from the South, you've always had a love affair with food. Mm -hmm. But for most people who struggle with weight and have their own love affair with food, thinking about eating healthy sucks. It just sucks. <laughs> food is never good. And on top of it, to eat healthy is expensive. Eating bad is a whole lot cost efficient to do. So most people, you know, it's easy to go to the corner store, corner restaurant, get something that's fried and bad for you. It costs a lot cheaper and tastes a lot better. Yeah. When did you, like, how did you start to develop, number one, cost efficient recipes that taste good? Yeah, well, that's when I was living with my parents and I was doing my blog and starting the things up. Like, it just really demanded it. Um, my budget it demanded it. I didn't have that much money, and so I was just learning how to live on a on a really limited budget. But here's the other thing too that you know I like the fact that you said efficient and not like more costly because I think people make that that like misconception like healthy food is so much more expensive. In some ways, I understand what you're meaning, but I think what people are actually saying after talking to so many people about it is that it's not as efficient, meaning cooking fresh food and taking the time to go ahead and do that, it costs me more mm -hmm. to go ahead and, um, than just picking something up in the corner store and going. Now, once you start to give yourself healthier food and healthier options, you feel better. And that other food doesn't, doesn't make you feel as good. So that was a motivating factor for me that like when I would go out and I'd have maybe like a burger or some pizza or just grab something, you know, like quick and fast and efficient, but wasn't that good. I would feel bad for the rest of the day. It wouldn't just energize me the same way. So that was a motivation, you know, for me to keep on eating healthier because it made me feel good. Um, and, and now in terms of like uh, healthy food being more expensive, I, I can get, I get what people are saying that. Um, and it is really upsetting too. When I'll see like the burger menu be like a dollar or like a burger and fries and I remember one time I went to like Chipotle and um, a friend of mine, she's vegan. She came with me and she was getting like her vegan bowl and hers was more expensive than my beef bowl. And she just, she's like, I just want extra veggies. And they piled it on there like, why is hers like three dollars more than mine and my <laughs> all this stuff? And mine was loaded down with a whole bunch of stuff, right? So I get in many ways. And that is just what you're saying there is that's this capitalism and you're saying that the business of health that people, that companies have found out that people actually care about the health, and so they're going to put a premium on that um, in order to you know, capitalize. That, that's not across the board. Um, but to say that, that should incentivize you to go and learn how to cook. You go into the kitchen, and it's so much cheaper, I'm telling you, because the amount of money that you spend on that bowl, you can buy those same ingredients and make five bowls or four bowls for that same amount of money. So... It's just something for us to think about that like, yes, it may cost you more in time, but the benefits to your health, to your wellness, to your mental state, and to your budget far outweigh those benefits. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, go ahead. Those costs, I mean, they far, they far outweigh those costs. Yeah, because it, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you can go get a burger with all of the fixings for a few dollars. Try yeah. getting a good salad, and you're paying ten dollars and above. So, <laughs> For yes, it makes a lot of sense to do it at home. Yeah. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.